Hello and welcome to Basic Medical Sciences. In this video, we are going to talk about the rhinovirus. The rhinovirus belongs to the family Piconaviridae. So, we have um, an overview of the Piconaviruses. So, if you click the link on the top right corner, you can watch our playlist there. Now, the rhinovirus is a positive sense single-stranded RNA virus. What it means is that its structure is similar to the messenger RNA. And in this series, we are representing the positive sense single-stranded RNA viruses using the sun. Now, the rhinoviruses have an icosahedral symmetry and they are naked. Uh, Again, uh, this virus is an uh, acid labile. What does this mean? In the previous videos, uh, specifically in enteroviruses, we said enteroviruses are acid stable. What it means is that the enteroviruses, they are not affected by the gastric juices, so they can infect uh, the gastrointestinal tract and also they can be transmitted by fecal oral route. But the rhinoviruses, they cannot infect the GIT. It means they cannot be transmitted through the fecal oral route. So how are they transmitted? Let's see. The rhinoviruses, they are transmitted uh, firstly through uh, respiratory droplets. That's the first way. And secondly, uh, through fomites. Um, and you need to know that on our skin, the rhinovirus can survive for two hours. And on other surfaces, they can survive for four hours, right? The rhinoviruses, they like cool temperatures. Uh, so in our body, uh, the best place is, is the upper respiratory tract. Yeah this region where the temperature there is about 33 degrees celsius yeah right so the most important thing you need to remember in this video is that the rhinovirus is the number one cause of common cold in humans It's the number one cause of the common cold in humans you need to remember that okay moving on now let's look at how they are uh, cause infection in humans, right? So represented here is a uh, pseudostratified columnar epithelial cells uh, in the upper respiratory tract, right? So when the virus comes, they attach to a specific molecule found in these cells and the molecule is called uh, intercellular adhesion molecule or ICAM-1. Right, and the, uh, the other name for this molecule is CD54. The rhinoviruses have uh, more than 110 serotypes, right? So what it means is that it is so difficult to make vaccines for all of these serotypes. So unfortunately, we don't have uh, vaccines for the rhinoviruses. Though it's the number one cause of common cold in humans. Yes, we know that, but there's nothing we can do. Okay. And above that, because of a lot of serotypes, it means the immunity after infection is very weak. Right. Okay. Um, if you like this video, please make sure you subscribe. Click the like button and leave a comment on the comment section right and i want to take this opportunity to tell you guys that uh, in this series we are not going to dig deep but i will give you only a review something which you are going to see in your exam right thanks for watching until next time head bowed